We're here in Austin, Texas, a city known for innovation and one of the fastest growing tech hubs in the country. And there's one company that's reimagining how we design and build homes. All right, you must be Connor. Ross. Yeah, how's Good it going? Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, absolutely. What are we looking at here? This is crazy. Welcome to Austin, Texas, where we're 3D printing homes in the wild, man. Wow. This floor plan in particular is over 4,000 square feet. It's four bed, three and a half bath, single story. Wow. Uh, I think all the things that consumers typically want uh, with some additional stuff that uh, we think they'll value over time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so take me through the wall assembly. What yeah, are we absolutely. So you're looking at a 12 inch wide wall, kind of okay. from out to out. So we have a bead on the interior of the home, a bead on the outside with a cavity in the middle. Okay. While we're printing, we cut in openings for outlets and switches. You're seeing behind me an opening for plumbing as well. Yeah. So that by the time you're done printing the wall system, all your openings for plumbing and electrical are where they need to be and yeah. this saves time for the plumbers and electricians. Right, but there's right. no studs in the way, so you can rough in all that MEP from above That's right. and drop it in. That's right. That's we install the roof, run all that stuff above, and drop it in. Got it, got it. Once we rough in the home, we blow in open cell foam. It's moisture resistant, mold resistant, kind of meant for a masonry application. Mm -hmm. And that gives us our uh, high R value that we end up with in our homes. Got it, got it. I mean, I'm looking at a masonry wall and like CMU block typically has reinforcement. I saw some yeah. rebar here on the floor. That's it. So I assume you're doing the same thing? Yeah, similar principles. So we install reinforcement along the beads, across the beads so that it's all tied together. And then after we print the wall, we drop it in vert vertically. Got it. Yep. Yeah, so it gives you that structural integrity, That's make it. sure it's sheer. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of those same principles of CMU. Now, Ross, I do want to call out that it's similar in some ways, but pretty different in some ways, yeah. right? When we're done printing the wall, you don't just have the framing of the walls, but you have multiple layers. So typically you'd you'd frame, you'd have sheathing, a water barrier, yeah. you'd have your cladding on the outside, drywall on the inside, yeah. and tape float texture, right? I just rattled off like five or six different things. Yeah. When we're done printing, you have it all in one. So it's it's reducing the number of people kind of in and out, so confusion right. and clashes. It yeah. also simplifies the supply chain. I can see that for sure. I mean, your double pass design represents a lot of different layers That's in it. the assembly. Yep, so that, really simplifying things. Yep. That, that is cool. Now, as far as how long this should last, yeah. you know, resiliency, talk, talk to me about that. That's something that we take a lot of pride in. So in the short term kind of construction picture, we hope to bring down cost and time, but there's a lot of long-term value here. It stands up well to flooding, termites don't want to eat concrete, yeah. um, and then even things like fire, right? We think about California, it stands up well uh, to fire. Yeah. So the cement is being poured. Yep, we're uh, mixing the dry powder in our material delivery system and then extruding it one layer at a time. You're seeing it stay fluid enough to kind of get through the hose, yeah. but it's standing up on its own. By the time the printer gets back here, it'll be stiff enough to hold itself up. It almost looks like soft serve coming out, you know, making it for an ice cream or something. Some may it's, say. Yeah, Some that, may say. that is crazy. Yep. Okay, so now I see what you're talking about with the two layer pass here. Yep. So each one, you're saying one inch by, by two, and, two a half? and a half inches, that's it. Got it, and what's going on with these right here, these channels? Yeah, you're looking at a core that we print really intentionally. We place these where we need them by windows and doors and kind of throughout the wall system. We yep. use this as a cavity uh, to bring strength to our wall system. So we'll drop in a vertical stick of rebar and then we'll grout it. Got it, got it. So that will literally be a grouted column all the way up with yep. rebar for reinforcement and stability. That's it. Got it, well, watch your head there. Yeah, watch this out. This thing's Coming sneaking up on you, That's I know. Right. That is cool. That is really cool. Now, what about hanging a picture on the wall when it's all said and done? What are you doing there? I'm glad you asked, Ross. That's our number one question. Yep. Really simple. You'll get a masonry bit, drill into the wall, mm -hmm. put in an anchor, put in a screw, and then hang whatever you need to hang. Nice. So this printing process, I can see it happening pretty fast here. Like, how long does it take to actually 3D print a home? We'll stack anywhere from a foot to a couple of feet in a given day. So okay. you can imagine a 10-foot wall taking about uh, 10 days, seven, yeah. you know, a couple of weeks. It kind of depends on the size of the house. But we'll mobilize in a couple of days, yeah. get to printing, and then get out of here all within about two weeks. Awesome. Yeah, you know, Connor, this is really cool stuff, but I'd love to see a finished product. I'd be happy to take you to one. Really? Yeah. Look at the house there. Ross, wow. welcome to house zero, one of our houses in the wild. Wow, it is cool to see the finished product here. Yeah, look, absolutely. Look at that floor to ceiling windows yep. coming down, the curvature, yep. Yep. beautiful. Yeah, thanks man. We're, we were excited to bring floor to ceiling windows to this home and, and have carried into designs like you saw on the slab today. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously floor to ceiling windows, great. Obviously you gotta get the arch architecture, details right, the flashing details, mm -hmm. the airtight details yeah. right. So yeah. that looks like a little bit of a challenge where you have the mixture of two. That's right, one challenge of, 
of our technology is a lot of curves with the wall, but often straight materials. We love letting those straight materials kind of float out past the beads and we'll do mm. a lot of our weatherproofing kind of back in the cavity. Nice, nice. Yeah. And then of course the shape, you know, mm -hmm. it just, it looks really cool. And uh, what typical builders that we work with, curves, that's cost and that's yeah. complexity. Something right? we're really excited about with our technology is bringing a lot of architectural freedom to designers in the world right now. And the feedback we've gotten is thank you, right? right? The reason we can do that is because the printer doesn't care if it's printing a straight line or a zigzag or a curve, right? Sure. So you can kind of open up your imagination and not be restricted by time or cost mm -hmm. when you're designing the home. And, and you can see that really highlighted here, right? So on this home, we wanted to call to kind of large sequoia trees, right? And you can see that these walls have kind of high undulation at the bottom of the wall and then really smooth out to the top. Yeah. So not only varying kind of horizontally, but also vertically as you move up the wall. Yeah, so literally limitless as far as how you can design and get those undulations and the look that you guys want. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's right. Can I see the inside? We'd love to show you the inside. All right, let's, let's go. go. And Ross, welcome inside, man. Wow. Look at this, even nicer inside than it was outside. Yeah. This is really cool. Thanks, man. You know, the wood, accents, you know, it's, this is really cool. Yeah. Interior finishes. Yeah. Let's jump right into it. So I see the bead design. Yeah. There. What are my options? Yeah, a lot of options around interior finishes. You, you can see on this home, we wanted the beads to kind of stand alone, right? Yeah. And really highlight them. So we, we left them raw, which is an option of itself. If you like the beads and uh, you you want to accentuate that, you can. For some people, that's uh, probably what they'll do, yeah. Exactly. Uh, the next option would be just to paint it, which we do on many of our projects. Another really popular option to cover the walls is plaster. And this home really? actually has plaster on the walls in the bathrooms. Tile is an option uh, okay. that we can place on top of it. And then lastly, um, you can always fur these walls out. So we'll, we'll put some kind of wood studs up against the wall and then you can put kind of any kind of wall cover on top of that. Got it. That you might need. And then um, cost wise. Yep. How are you, I mean, a lot of efficiencies picked up here. Mm -hmm. Seems some cool stuff, but how does that translate into the cost side? Yeah, yeah, that's something that we're highly focused on, Ross. So uh, I'll start with speed actually, right? This is something that's really important important to us delivering homes quickly. We think that's really important to addressing the housing crisis. Mm -hmm. There's not enough stock and we need to meet that challenge. Yeah. An equally important part of that puzzle is cost. And so to understand the goal that we were gonna hit, we studied the kind of national home building averages. Sure. And what we realized and saw in the data was that framing, sheathing, waterproofing. Conventional stick built. Yeah, con con conventional stick built wall yeah. system. It's about $35 a square foot. We were really excited last year to have hit that with our wall system. So we hit our goal of $35 a square foot. We ex exceeded that goal on a couple of cases. Nice. And that's what we're averaging right now. So you're on par with market right now. We're on par. And what the future is going to hold is the home that's delivered faster at a higher quality and a lower cost. So we're excited that's, to get there. That's magic right yeah, there. That's it. Now, everything we've seen has been slab on grade, mm -hmm. single family, mm -hmm. single story. Mm -hmm. You know, other kind of building types, other heights, basements, where, you know, where's the future go for, for you guys? Great question, Ross. We're getting into developing all kinds of different technologies. Our chief development coming up is uh, the next iteration of our printer. Mm -hmm. So right now we utilize kind of this large gantry system. Sure. Coming next is more of an articulating arm. And what, what that does for us is really open up the possibilities around what you can print. So we're gonna be looking at multiple stories and multiple buildings at once, nice. which allows us to do more types of buildings and deliver them more quickly. Connor, thank you so much for the tour. Absolutely, Great man. To see you. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. Okay, All right, see, ya. see ya. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.